but I do think I can expect you to understand parts of the argument important to me. <clears throat> and I think that mostly the anti-feminist view is going along a particular uh, view about what it means, this term feminism. So uh, basically you're looking at a group of people that uh, call themselves feminist or are feminist and some, you know, the label applies according to your judgment and from your experience and then you're saying well what is feminism it's the thing those people believe right and that's associational and that's fine it's also extensional it's like you get an empirical set of people you abstract from them what it means this thing they all believe in but you know there's big divisions in feminism and there is an alternate way to think of what it means to be feminism instead of looking at the people and saying whatever those people that call themselves feminists uh, whatever they have in common that's feminism you can actually say it has to do with the rights of women and issues like that and with that definition you could say hey in this decade the feminists were this way off course in this decade they were on course because there is a concept Right. So, for example, I have been saying that I believe that feminists should probably be picketing the Saudi embassy. That would be a good thing for feminists to do. And you could say, well, they're not doing that. You could find uh, some 20-something uh, feminists on campus that, that uh, are not up to the, some sort of standard. And I think you can make progress that way. But when you just attack this group of people and say, well, feminism is whatever, you know, a more than 50% according to me, or whatever the percentage has to be, you know, whatever they do, uh, that's feminism. And then I judge feminism based on that. Well, you're ignoring the fact that uh, you've already, uh, reality that you've already admitted, um, thinking of Quintica here, that uh, you know there are real issues women in Saudi Arabia should probably be able to drive and you are saying that the subject matter of feminism is a certain way not based on material facts but on associational facts guilt by association these people say they believe in feminism I could prove something about these people therefore it's about feminism as well and it just doesn't work like that and that's probably the main thing uh, before anything else I would like to address even though you know I agree there's some validity there's grains of truth there's uh, reasons to do the associational thing as well right you can definitely uh, judge that maybe there's a group of people that are causing a certain kind of problem in the name of feminism certainly you can judge that as well but to equivocate and get confused about what the activist concept of feminism uh, is in a material sense when there's countries in the world where you know uh, it's okay to it's not illegal at least to beat your wife and they can't drive and they're, people don't want to let them go to school and things like this in a world like that you know to ignore the principled definition from the material reality is counterproductive you know I'm fine if you wanted to say well here's what it feminism is conceptually and should be uh, a worthwhile view and I criticize these people because they're acting in contradiction to this thing I've just pointed out and indeed I as an activist would and have done that right I understand the concept of the social justice warrior uh, when you're trying to say there's a kind of person that is just sanctimonious and hypocritical and so on and so forth yeah and that I consider that counterproductive to me but when you want to generalize that all activism uh, is tainted by this or it's 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 my cross to bear um, I reject that <laughs>